Hi, Dan here, and here we are with the making of Neil's cloak for his birthday present video. Um, I'm probably going to have to do this in a couple of parts. This first part being the laying out of the pattern and the cutting out. And then I've got to set up all the machines. Well, I say all the machines. I've got a serger or overlocker. And I've also got a regular sewing machine. I'm not sure at the moment which one I'm going to use, but I need to get those threaded up and ready to go. And I'm in a very small room here, but I wanted to use this room because I can shut the door and keep the dogs out. So keep the fabric clean while I'm doing it. So just before I start a quick run through, I've got a new pattern because my old pattern's so old that it's falling apart. And I'm going to use the McCall's um, costume and it's number 4139 I will be making in the extra large size. It says it's an easy two hours, so, but something tells me it's going to take a lot, lot longer than two hours. And cost wise, what I've got is um, I've got seven meters here of boiled wool, thick, woolly, warm winter coat dressmaking material. And that came to £160 and I got that from eBay. I've also got seven metres of silky satin, plain luxury wedding material. And that came to £23. I think that one was a uh, end of line one or something. So it might have been a bit cheaper than it might have cost otherwise. I got a box of Coates Moon Thread. Um... And I got a box of, um, I think that's 10 black in there, or was 10 black, because the overlocker takes four reels at a time. And I thought, I'm going to end up running out of, of thread, so I'd rather have too much than too little. And I've also bought a clasp here, toggle, to do it up. Sorry, did I say that the, uh, the silky satin cost £23? And then the toggle was £5.48. The pattern came to £8. Uh, the moon cotton was £11.49 and the pattern was £8.25. So all of the ingredients, so to speak, not including the pattern, comes to just, uh, just pennies over £200. So it's not a cheap make, which is why it's taken so long for me to get round to doing it. When I made mine... I got the fabric from a lady who bought it to make herself a coat, never got round to it, sold it at a car boot sale um, and I picked it up for about £5 I think I paid for it. So I got mine incredibly cheaply but I knew that Neil's was going to cost a fortune which is why it's taken so very long to, to get round to doing it. But as it's his 50th birthday, um, we've pushed the boat out and here we are doing it now i was originally planning to film this with the camera on the tripod but i it wouldn't accept the lighting properly um it was either bleached out with the light but i can't close the blinds because then i can't see to work so that wasn't going to do any good so i thought well if i wear the gopro on a chest harness then that might be a, a better option. Right now, um, if you're not used to, to patterns and things, if you have a look on the back of the pattern, and luckily um, if you go to Amazon or eBay for a pattern, you can actually bring up the, the picture of, of this um, before you buy it. So you can actually see, there I am trying to expand it for you. Oh dear, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, you can actually see how much fabric you need and it does say for this for this particular one um, that it should need um, I can't even see without my glasses here sorry I've got to bring it right up close it says about six and a half meters but I've bought a bit extra just to be on the safe side and I think this uh, this is um, This is like double width here, so it's folded in half. 
and this is where I normally get in a bit of a pickle and that's why I like to use two of these tables pushed together because it just gives you more more space to work on because obviously with seven meters that's an awful lot of fabric so I'm just kind of rolling it out so I can stretch it out a bit more and get it bit of a fight with it here this is not a how-to video in any way shape or form this is just me struggling my way through doing things with uh, with limited knowledge and just doing the best that I can and I've always done in the past um, these sort of uh, cloaks and things with old curtains and stuff so it doesn't matter if you make errors or or have problems because uh, it didn't cost you very much, but I think that's just going to have to roll onto the floor. Right, so um, when you get a pattern like this, they should have a a cutting a cutting fan that will explain how to do it. Um, well we're going for cloak I suppose cloak it says the different cloaks there A, B, C they all look pretty much the same to me so if we just say A that will do so cape A or B Okay, so that's just telling you how to lay out the, the pieces of the pattern. Hang on, this is for 45 inch wide, but I'm working on 60 inch wide. Just check that with my... Oh, so it's not 60, it's less than 60, it's a 28, 40, 56 this is. So 56, but... There might be an awful lot of fast forwarding for you or maybe even some editing for me, I don't know. Pretty much the same really on the cutting plans isn't it but we need pieces one and two not really that many pieces it does say like I said before it says it's a two hour so we'll see about that Don't think we're going to be using that piece at all. That's the capelet. I think I've opened this piece up. Not. All oh, right. So. generally speaking when I 
open up a pattern, I find the pieces that I want and then I pretty much cut those pieces off first so that you can you can manage them easily, more easily. I think I might pop the light on. I've got the light from the window, but it's could still with do with some overhead light. And anyone watching me do this is probably cringing and thinking, no, don't do it like that, don't do it like that. <laughs> One cut two for the front, no. I don't know if this part of the video is ever going to make it to YouTube. <laughs> 